presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're... With your gold report, you just print in money. I love it. Uh, you're my best dad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. No. Tom O'Brien. Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions, just concern the truth. The problem with making assumptions is that we believe they are the truth. We make the assumption, we misunderstand, we take it personally and we react by sending emotional poison with our word. This creates a whole big drama for nothing. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 65, NASDAQ's down 153, S&Ps are off 18. Gold, gold contract flat, 2,039. Dollars and ten cents an ounce. Gold's in an ABC structure up, folks, with a price projection of twenty-one fifty-four. Now that's a one-to-one, -one. and gold loves doing more than a one-to-one. -one. That like really likes doing a one-to-one point three eight two or one to one point five zero. Silver, silver's flat out here, twenty-five dollars eleven cents. Light sweet crude down twenty-six cents, trading eighty dollars forty-five cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten-year note up eight ticks, trading one sixteen sixteen. The thirty-year up twenty-eight at one thirty-four flat, and king dollar. King dollar uh, up 285 ticks, trading 101,871. The euro is at 109, the yen's at 131. The British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, take a look at the spy out here. Um, you know, you, you're backing down a bit, it's light volume. This thing still wants to basically hit this high that's generated out here on the February 2nd. February 2nd is 418. Um, yesterday we did volume of, 40, of 66 million. You're coming into 113 million, which is last Friday. Last Friday is a big day, folks, because, you know, the volume came out of nowhere, but the volume is volume, man. There's buyers there. So now what you're doing is you're coming into that level, and the contraction is pretty dramatic coming into this level. You know, yes, granted, it's a holiday week, but the bottom line is that it is what it is, and volume is what it is. When you come down with light volume, and then you have a higher swing point with volume, your probability is that that's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to get up into that level somehow, some way. I, I know it sounds bizarre, but, well, it sounds bizarre to me, <laughs> but it is. It, it wants to go there. We look at the, the three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs? Same type of setup. Now, the Qs, this is what's going to be cool with the Qs today. The Qs, the number to keep your eye on, is the 315.25. Because what that would be, you're coming down into the bar that was out here on the 27th, and that bar has 75 million. And the top of that bar is 315.25. And if you close above that, the 25, that would be a rejection of lower price with lighter volume. Gold, gold contract, that broke topside yesterday, has the volume behind the move. You know, you can expect, you know, a little more sideways movement. It, take, it takes quite a bit, you know, for what gold actually did. Because gold was in a 10-day consolidation. You can see the volume exploded yesterday, 233,000 contracts. 
if we do the GLD, see, we just rolled on this contract too. If we, you can't just look at this other uh, with the B point, but you, if you go to the GLD, if you look at how these ABCs work, you can check it out, check your work out, and then you go to the GLD and see if in fact you got it and you did get it, okay? And the reason that you got it is this. Now check this out. So this is important to understand about ABC structures on the way up, on the way down, um, on, and that you can't have volume expanding all the way up or expanding all the way down. You can see this big volume that when we, when we first took out the swing point, that, that volume that came in, that was March 17th, the pot of gold, right? You had 24 million shares traded. Now watch what happens. Then you came under it. And so when you come, the, the way I, I look at it, Marcus, you came under it. And so what that means is that that means that, okay, you came under it with light volume, 18 million. Well, that's where it rewinds itself again. Then you go higher again and you go higher with 11 million. So your benchmark is the 11 million. It's not going to be the 24 million. And then yesterday we took it out with 13 million, taking out the 11 million and in the context. So that's how you get your ABC structure up. We take a look at the silver market out here. What do we have with silver? Silver's a little bit different setup, but the bottom line is that it always seems to be a different setup. Silver has taken out the top of its range. And, you know, the top of the range, that's saying that silver now is going to make its way up to basically the 30, $29 to $30 area. Let me put this on a generic chart. You're going to see the next swing point, I believe, is, yeah, right there. All right, well, that's only 27. 27, well, yeah, the next swing point is 27.13. Um, your top of this whole range is $30, though. So we'll see out here those 27.13. But I suspect, let me just look at this for a second. I think it already broke. Yeah, it did. It already broke it with conviction. This is on the way to thirty dollars. See, the, the, it, it broke. It broke the whole trend line, and it broke it with conviction. You had wide price spread. You had volume behind the move, and it's going to be all about this. You know, when you take a look at this, you know, the ten-year. Look at this ten-year, man. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's three point two today, and we were at four like three weeks ago. That's eight tenths of one percent on something that only started at four. That's, a, that's, that's unbelievable, but it is what it is. And when you take a look at it technically, um, bottom line, this thing looks to me that you're going to blow away this high and you'll probably get a huge ABC structure up. We got 1.3 con million contracts today. Well, let's see how the, that's, this is going to be cool. Oh, come, come. There we go. So we need, we need, okay, so at... 117.01, and this is why we hit 116.30 today. So 117.01, you need 2 million contracts. Now, what we do we don't want to go after this probably tomorrow. You want to go after this probably uh, next Monday or Tuesday. If you got that, you got an ABC structure up, and you're talking about game on and rates. And no matter what the Fed's doing, they, all, they, they can control the overnight rate. They don't control the tenure. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow Industrials down 161. Nasdaq's off 18. S&P's are up, uh, no. Dow's up 61. Nasdaq's down 161. S&P's down 19. Commodities and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow uh, up 54. NASDAQ is down 163. S&Ps are off 19. Let's go take a look at, we get a question about, uh, there's a nice Gartley cell that is set up and the Qs. So, when you take a look at this, my, my take is that I wouldn't sell it here. <laughs> That's the bottom line. And the reason is this is that when we look at the S&P, as to where the S&P wants to go, that's telling me that we're gonna get up there somehow because we're pulling back with dramatically lighter volume. And then when you take a look at this, now I get this on a weekly, but you can see how we pushed four weeks ago, and it's like that thing is just sitting out there. But the largest reason is this. The largest reason is you see this over here so, so we're already into where all the volume is, right? You know, like you can, you can say that, okay, you know, we're at ice, meaning the bottom of it is like 318 or like 315, but this number is sticking out like a sore thumb to me, which is at 334. And the amount of volume there on the way down, saying, man, if the market wants to, well, we know that the market's deviant beyond belief, okay? And it's almost like, okay, somehow, man, maybe you'll get to that level. So I, I, I just wouldn't be selling. Well, I certainly wouldn't be selling this week, that's for sure, because it's a, it's a um, slow week. You can, tomorrow, they're, they're going to be able to push this market no matter where they want to put push it. You know, when I say no matter they, it's going to be the machines. The machines, you got to remember, work 24 hours a day, okay? Let's go to Andy in Colorado. Andy, what's going on, brother? Tom, how you been? Good, man. How you been? I'm doing okay. Doing okay. Hey, uh, it's been a long time, and I, I know that there's been a lot going on there, and uh, my thoughts are with you guys and your family. Thank there. you. And uh, but anyway, um, hey, I just wanted to talk oil with you real quick. Um, from what I heard, oil's been in contango for a couple months now, which which I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that there's, they're paying for we're storing it, right? That would be correct. Okay. And they had cuts back in October that they never came back to, and, and they cut again. Is this kind of a telltale sign that this supposedly China reopening or the demand that might come back is just not going to come back, and that's why they're, they, they know that the, the demand's not going to come back, and that's why they're just cutting again? I would agree. And in fact, when you look at the chart here, right, 
this is this is so intriguing, folks, the oil contract, because, you know, the, the swing point here that it hasn't been able to take out is uh, 8104, which is, you know, we, 8304, rather. We got to 8104, uh, 24 today, and that doesn't even make any sense to me. You see what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. like, hey, well, why can't you take that swing point out? Uh, particularly, yeah, we had the huge gap up, but like what you just laid out, it, it's, it's basically saying that there's still less oil being used, period, you know? So, right, yeah. you know, we'll kind of see where that shakes out, but that's how that's set up right now. You know, when you get close to a swing point, and it, particularly on something that, you know, what happened, folks, is that they flat out, you know, said, okay, I'm going to bring the production level down by a million barrels a day. You know, it's like, okay, well, why can't I just take that swing point out? You know, there, see, there's no follow through on that deal. See, we, we, we got the gap up. It gapped all the way up to 81.69. The next day, it went to 81.81. Light volume and today's light volume. So they're not pushing this with volume right now. You know, so that's telling me that a slowdown is in place. Right. Yeah, this is just a head fake, kind of. <laughs> well, they, they want to keep oil, you know, as high as they can. As that's, they can, yeah. You know, yeah. That's that's the greed factor. Like they don't, haven't already made enough money, man. I mean, because the money has been hand over fist for quite some time. Um, you know, if we put this on a, a longer basis now, Andy, right? I'm going to put this 15 years, folks, so you can just kind of see the setup. Because what happens is that, you know, they were right at the level. See, once it's over like 77, 75 again, you can you can you know, make the argument that, hey, we're on the higher level again. I'm sure they probably know that too. Do you know what I mean? Because we had got all the way down to 64, and anything under 75 is the lower level, which is really dangerous, man. Because the mm -hmm. lower level says, okay, you know, this is just, just pitch this, folks, as a, as a, you know, a house with, like, in this particular case, we get, like, this is only to be a double-decker, okay? You know, and once you get under 75, it's like, okay, you know, you can go to you can go to 48. Why can't you go to 48? <laughs> Went to 64. <Right. laughs> yeah, you see, I mean, it's interesting, right? It really is. No, yeah, I remember when it went negative. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, trip. for sure. And, you know, what, what is happening, you know, out there on a slow basis, um, I, you know, some of these numbers that are coming in on a, on a slow basis, um, there's, this economy slowing down. You know, they, they talk about China. Um, and that's real, but China, let's put it this way. My take is that when things slow down, everything still slows down, okay? We, and, and in particular, China, the amount of business that we have done in China in the past versus what we're going to do in the future, I think is dramatically lower. And, you know, at this particular case, they think that, you know, they'll make up that business somewhere else. Well, my take is that they won't. You know. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. It's, it's exactly. Totally a good, good luck. World, yeah. For sure. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That's that's yeah. yeah. That's when 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 it comes down and dirty, um, it's not even close, man. I've heard this. I've heard this so many <laughs> times in the past thirty years. It's insane. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah. yeah. First the Arabs are going to take us over. Then the Japanese are going to take us over. Now Chinese are going to take you over. It's like, yeah, really? You know? Have you? You know? So, and every right, every right. time, it doesn't work. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, what's your uh, take on the 30-year mortgage? Do you think those rates are going to start heading down as I, well? I think we peaked out. Yes, I yeah, do. Yeah. I think we peaked okay. out. Um, so I think we're going down. Yeah. And man. I think that's why things, you're seeing things gold just change, move. don't they? I'm sorry, what? Things just change quite often. Things change. <laughs> I mean, it's... Things change. Well, and, and what happens is that, on the you know, like, we saw when the banking crisis hit, we saw the 10-year and the 30-year come off the lows with wide price spread accelerated volume. That is how you like to come off lows, folks, okay? Mm -hmm. And now we have an ABC structure set up, so that's telling me that, hey, this game is on and rates are going to come down. And this is going to be like, I know you, you're in the real estate business too, Andy, and this is going to be for you and I and anyone else in the real estate business, folks, it's going to be slow. It's going to be like the gas pumps. That, you know, when they go up, they put them up quick, but when they pull back, they're going to come back slower. But my take is that they are, 
you know, coming back. And if you're in this business, you want to really keep your eye out, you know, because what will end up happening is that if we are right in the concept that these rates are coming down, you are going to see real estate go up dramatically again. The reason being is that inflation hasn't gone away. You know, I, I, I know what it's costing me to build, you know what I'm saying? And that's not mm -hmm. going to go away. So this is going to be a replay of the 70s. And yeah. the formula yeah. there is that no matter what the rate is, so like right now, even at that rate, if the inflation is still running at six and you're paying six, well, guess what? You're paying nothing still. Now that's hard to right, eat, right. but you get the gist of it, so. Yeah. Hey, well, thanks again, Tom. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right Me there, too. folks. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, JDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den and Discord is accessible on mobile or tablet as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, trading up uh, 76. NASDAQ is down 150. S&Ps are down 15 and a half. And let's go take a look at rig for one of our tigers out here. So you get Transocean, the low is 232, the high is 774. This is a deep water driller contractor. And you gotta be really careful with this one. If you, I know you're looking for a stop. Um, so, because this one here, you can see what you, what you have here. The, the last two lows have high volume lows. So that's where it wants to go. You know, yeah, you're pulling back with light volume today. There's no doubt about that. But I, I'd almost let this loose right now. You know, because when you, when you have high volume lows, yeah. So the first high volume low was at 53 million. The second, then, well, watch what happened. 53 million at 561. You go all the way up to 774. See the contraction of volume there. 18 million versus the last high of 12 million versus the last high of 24 million. So 24 million, 24 million there is your benchmark, okay? 
24 million. It failed at 12. It goes south from 760 to 560. Tries to go up again, so it's 18 million against the 24. Comes all the way back down and see the expansion of volume, 53 million versus, oh, 53 to 53. And then this, you had sellers, there's a seller here. That's a seller yesterday too. So, you know, you can, you can put a stop in, you can put it in right underneath this. The, pro, the problem, see all these gaps? The, get, the gaps mean that you're in a consolidation and you can put the stop in, but then if they get some kind of news, then it gaps away from you or it comes down to test that, it'd be a bummer. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like just move the thing out, man. That's how, uh, that's how I'd look at it. The, uh, XLE, let's go take a look at the XLE. So the XLE, you know, we were just talking about the oil market. Now the XLE set up a little bit differently, okay? So you have the low for the year 65, the high is 94. And, you know, you did have the volume that came in and we didn't get to a higher high with lighter volume, and that's a positive. That's what you don't want. And that's what the oil contract actually did, okay? Um, so when, when, you, when you're looking at that, the bottom line is, is that, okay, this can get to higher price. Let me pull this back and put it on a weekly. Yeah, this is still in a consolidation, you know? And it's trying to make its way through this downdraft from 91 to 82, but you can see here at 85. So when you get that far into it, it's like, okay, you can, you can crawl its way up there somewhere to 88, you know? We'll see whether they get any more juice in it, but that's how I speculate that that thing's gonna shake out. Um, so tomorrow, folks, at uh, 3.20, Tim Wood, who used to come on with uh, David White, is going to be um, on tomorrow at 3.20. So the, the history, Tim and I actually go back to 1995. I introduced Dave to Tim, okay? Uh, so we are going to integrate Tim Ord into TFNN. He's going to be on every Thursday at 20 past the hour. So 3.20 tomorrow, he's going to be coming on, giving us an update, um, which, which would be, you know, great. He's He's... A wealth of knowledge, that's the real bottom line. Tim and I, we used to do a lot of, up, a lot of workshops, trade live together in, in the 90s. Uh, so mark that on your calendar. It's going to be every Thursday at 3.20. We got to take a look at, let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. We have uh, Tesla's, Tesla's down seven bucks. You got uh, this AI chat, they're, they're not down another four dollars. That's getting smoked. Um, NVIDIA's down 771. Let's go take a look at NVIDIA because when this thing does start going south, it, it really has some real action. Yeah, that's, it's, still, it's still at highs. This is coming into uh, 79 million today with only 43 million. So that's, that's telling me this is not done on the way down yet either. You know, you gotta, you gotta pull back, you pull back, but you can see these high volumes. It, when you have high volumes that you're going up, it, it takes a lot in order to basically push through those bars. That's how that shakes out, okay? Um, you know, it, it, it takes a huge amount to actually get through those bars. Let's go take a look at uh, CMG for a couple of the targets out here. This is uh, Chipotle. This is down 35 bucks today. The low is... Look at these numbers, man. The lows, 11, 1196, the high, 1754. Okay, so, I see. This is a failure at, at the highs. That's a failure at the highs, for sure. You, know, you can see the last high that was up there is 1724. You had huge volume. 650,000. We took that out yesterday with 200,000. Now, we, we didn't get here today is we didn't get, 
an expansion of volume. But if you're asking that, you know, would this be a sell? I, yeah, I would. You know, and look at the expansion on this thing, man. Yeah, let me put this on a weekly. Oh, that's even better. Look at this. Okay, one second. Yeah, no, big time, yeah. See that on the weekly, too? On the weekly, it's a big number, man. On the weekly, you're talking about 1724 with 2.4 million. Yeah, it hit 1742. Yep. Let me see the, and the shot position in this. It's only 2.97% shot position, you know, so that, um, that's, a, that's a decent shot. We take a look at Alta Salon. I believe this is at all-time highs. So the low is 3.30, the high is 5.30. Five fifty three, rather. I wouldn't be selling this, but this is going a lot higher. This is this is this is not necessarily. It's not. Let's see. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's it's not an ABC down because of the way on the weekly here. Let me put this on a monthly. On the weekly here, sell it with downward volume. It has volume. It, it took out a B point with volume, but because it went down with volume, that wouldn't be an ABC down. We put it on a monthly. Yeah, it's a one way shot in the way up. I wouldn't I would not shot this equity. And the reason uh, is twofold. Technically, I wouldn't shot it, but fundamentally, um, what has happened, folks, is that Ultra Salon has taken everyone out of business. Let me see if Sally's is still out here. Yes. Sally right here. Sally's Beauty Salon. Let's look at this. They, what they have done, yeah, see, a whole different shot. What they have done, they, they're alter on a fundamental basis, right? Yeah, see the difference? They're putting Sally's out of business. Stay right there, folks. You come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is uh, up 82. NASDAQ is down 138. S&Ps are off 13. And let's go take a look at the platinum market. So we'll look at the ETF for the platinum. So... Come on. The low is 76, the high is 101. Interesting, we're, gonna need, we're still gonna need more volume here, man. Hmm. We took it out, so that was 213,000 versus 120. That's a bummer, okay. Put this on a weekly. This platinum deal is something else, man. You know, for so many years, platinum was always more valuable than gold. Yeah, my take is that with this is still going to 99. Yeah. See, this, that, that's the last time we had any volume on the way down up there. And it's a high volume, it's actually a high volume low, high volume high at 109. So, just a matter of when. You're going to have to build more cars. That's how that shakes out. Let me, now, let me go into the... I'm going to go actually into the contract. Platinum. Okay, so. PL, PLA, maybe there it is. Okay, so. Let's see what we have here. Now I'm in the futures contract. So futures contract, let's see if it took it out with volume. Oh, it did. So that's cool. Okay. We blow it away, actually. Okay. So you're at, oops, close that. So it's pausing at the 50% level. Well, it'll probably build more cars to get up to higher price, but I expect that, that, that we will get up at those levels, you know. Um, and until what ends up happening, uh, bottom line, folks, is that the run in metals in general, you know, will go and burst. That's how that's how it normally runs. That's that's the real bottom line. Burst up, plateaus, pulls back again, burst up again. That's just how the thing shakes out. Let's go inside the Dow out here today and see what the strength was versus the weakness. So, inside the Dow, point-wise out here, you had United Health again. Unreal. That's to 114 positive points in it. Um, Johnson & Johnson, 44, Amgen at 38, Merck, 19. Taken away from it, Home Depot, 38, Boeing, 25, Caterpillar, 25. Let's go look at Home Depot and see if uh, this is, has, has any life in it. So the low in Home Depot is 264, the high is 347. So 
So on a daily basis, there's not much there. On a weekly basis, well, on the weekly basis, you do have that sp spike. Yeah, this is still trying to find the bottom. And the <coughs> these are the equities that you want to be keeping your eye on, folks, because of the fact of have we topped out in rates and or not, okay? Now, there was a question in, inside the den. Now, this is, this is where this gets really cool, actually. Just understand how this works. See, the, the amount that the actual bonds have gone up only in here. Let me, let me pull this up. U.S. 1. No, U.S.A. Yeah, you know, U.S. 1. Because these are the bonds that are on all the bank's balance sheets, okay, that are destroying the balance sheets. Well, what happens here, and this is, this, this, I believe, what the question was really about, is does this bail out the banks? And it does. But that's how that, you know, you get a bad trade, and all of a sudden now the trade's going with you. So when you're talking about, you're talking about 13 points here. Well, 13 points is 10%, <laughs> which is, you know, pretty amazing when you look at what, meaning specifically what I'm talking about is I'm talking about what's in their portfolio and meaning in the portfolio that's given them a negative equity. So just how we have gone from the March 7th, it's not even a full month yet because it's April 5th, you know, bottom line, those portfolios are getting repaired. So the method to the madness, now my take is that it's not, you know, it's just people buying it, okay? That's the bottom line. But the method to the madness, okay, comes to the point that the higher that, you know, the price structure goes, the lower the rates go, the more the balance sheet gets repaired. And inside the banking structure, what that means is that they're going to be in better shape. So I can see the context of, you know, why that even you could have all central banks buying them. I don't think that's the case. I, I, think, I think what the case is is that there's large funds that are buying them and flat out they're saying, hey, guess what? We've had the first crisis. You can't go any further, okay? And... The bottom line is that now rates are going to come back down again, and rates are going to come back down. We have, and this is going to be really strange, man. But it looks to me, the more I keep looking at these bonds, that we had the disaster. The disaster only played out, you know, a week and a half, two weeks, because if these bonds are doing an ABC structure up, yeah, let's do that number. I want to see what this ABC is. U.S. Okay, I can do, I can do the the. Because this is going to tell us quite a bit, too. Because if the bonds go 20% up off the, off the floor, let me see this. Okay, so that would be 133. I'm going to call it 134 because we're there. 134. And call that one 123. So you get 11. That would be 140. Yeah, 140, that's another seven points, man. That's, that's pretty heavy, you know. That's, that's what that's, that's almost going to be 12% off the lows. Let's go to Michael in Toronto. Hey, Michael, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Um, well, look at TD Bank. Yep. I've got a brokerage account with them, and I've got a checking account with them. Uh, in Canada, and uh, boy, it's taken the uh, the swift elevator down since um, February thirteenth. Yeah, so let's take a look at it. So you got TD Bank. I'm bringing it up in the United States right now. The lows fifty five, yeah. the highs eighty one. The big story out here yesterday is that this is one of the largest shot positions in the banking structure, folks. Okay, to the point of three point seven billion dollars. And who's you shorting? Know, I'm sorry, what? Who's shorting? Can you go into the Bloomberg terminal and find out? No, that's not how it works on the shot side. Um, but when we take a look at this, yeah, just stay right here, Mike. We'll, we'll come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're talking with Michael uh, from Toronto. We're talking about um, uh, TD Bank. So, Michael, mm -hmm. you know, this does have a high volume low from last month. I expect that's going to get tested, meaning that's $55. Um, yeah. And you know we'll see what happens at that particular point. That's that could have been well, a blowout the low. High? I'm sorry. How about the pre-pandemic high from February 19th, 2020? You think it can get down there? No, because you see that this gets this gets interesting because what what happened there is it couldn't even get to the highs of that. It it got to mm -hmm. it got to 55.43, and the high of the low is 52 and it didn't make it so when it doesn't make it that's also saying that someone's coming in buying at this level down here and figuring that okay mm -hmm. if it gets to the high of that low that's not bad that's 52 55 and when you see that much volume that's blown out of it you know it's hard to get that type of volume again within mm -hmm. you know within five six months even a year you can see the last time we got that type of volume, that's going to be the 2020, you know, March of 2020. And then it goes all the way up mm -hmm. to, you know, 86. Now it's back down. It didn't reach it. So it's like, okay. You, okay. I don't expect so it to go higher. But pivot level? I'm sorry? What's the critical pivot level to get it to push down to the uh, February 19, 2020? Uh, you have to break this 55, 43 with, with volume. With volume. With volume? Yeah. 
Well, it wouldn't have to go with volume. If you saw the, the, the buy, this is what the buy would be. The buy would be it breaks that, it hits it, and then it rejects it with less than 83 million on a monthly basis. So then you got action, man. Then it's like saying, okay, this yeah, will rewind itself. Okay, well, well, we'll do updates on this over the next, over the Yeah, TD Bank's summer. not going away. Don't worry about that. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> you know that being in Canada. They're, they're a yeah. monster, man. But, you know, I, I understand why, the, you know, traders will go after the banks, for sure. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks. Building wealth trade.